March 13th will mark one year since Virginia Governor Ralph Northam ordered Virginia schools closed. Since then, some students have returned to the classroom, but others remain virtual. A new bill in the General Assembly is trying to lay out the framework for the next school year so kids have the ability to be back in the classroom. I think it's it's more important than really anything. We know that our, our children learn better in the classroom. Virginia Beach Democratic State Delegate Alex Askew says with all of the unknowns and changes we've seen during the pandemic, they want to lay out a path to make sure kids return in the fall. I think this legislation is needed because we've seen so many changes uh, with the virus over the past year. The House of Delegates bill requires schools to offer at least some form of in-person instruction for the duration of the school year. Republicans say though the bill does not go far enough and many of them say students should be back in person five days a week. The House GOP tweeted, this bill is a lifeline to Democrats who are stuck between the teachers unions on one side and frustrated parents on the other. It's no lifeline for our kids. I think we uh, would love five days a week, but I think we need to uh, start uh, from a place of caution to sort of work our, our way back in the classroom. Meanwhile, separately from all this, Governor Northam has directed local school divisions to come up with plans for some in-person learning starting March 15th. The Norfolk School Division is the latest to approve a plan calling for a hybrid phased approach with younger students returning March 15th and high school students returning April 26th. Reviewing this, you know, constantly reviewing this plan and and if we're able to bring more children in, we're happy to do that. And again, flexibility is the key. As now with so many worried kids are falling behind in virtual learning, a debate over the best way to get them back in the classroom. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.